over $180,000 worth of school cleaning and sanitation supplies were handed over to the Ministry of Education to be distributed to hundreds of schools across the country that have reopened to hybrid learning. It was really exciting to be able to work with people who, you know, reached out, said, how can we help? We had an answer. We knew the sort of help that we needed, and they responded right away, so we were really grateful. Um, initially, we started off looking at primary schools. We were looking actively at saying, all right, so as we begin the return to hybrid, we know one of the things we need to work on is how can we support schools with supplies? Mm -hmm. We fully appreciate that schools have been working really hard. Principals, teachers, parents, the community, everyone has been chipping in to try to help the schools and support the schools with the supplies that they need. We know that even this donation, generous as it is, is not going to meet all the needs. It's not going to last forever, but it is a really big help, you know? It, it's a way to provide additional support. The process started from September of last year and took about three months to see it realized. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints reached out to the ministry and after looking at the needs, the value of the donation is almost five times the initial amount. While the donation comes in the form of sanitation supplies to the education system, the church has supported Belize with wheelchairs and medical supplies to health facilities such as the KHMH, vaccines to the country, as well as furniture for schools. Caring for the poor and the needy is a foundational belief of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, built on the principles of personal responsibility, community support, self-reliance, and sustainability. Humanitarian efforts are designed to give individual, individuals and communities the tools they need to improve their own circumstances in permanent and meaningful ways. Brothers and sisters, uh, these kind donations are possible through the generous contributions of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Members throughout the world come together, particularly on the first Sunday of every month, to fast for personal and collective reasons. Fast offerings and generous contributions of members of the Church enables the Church to take care of needy members and to fund the church humanitarian efforts throughout the world. Today, reps from a couple of schools were symbolically handed the supplies. CEO in the Ministry of Education, Diane Mejia, breaks down how the distribution is going to take place through the district education centers countrywide. We had put out for the schools a supplies request form, and up to yesterday, we had 339 submissions. So, you know, there has to be some way of documenting who gets the supplies, who needs the supplies. So we're using here the support of our district education centers. As I said, we have the data tracked, those 339 schools are schools across the country. So the master list is shared with the district centers so they know these are the schools that you need to get to and then they are supporting us in the delivery, right? So um, it's more than just, I mean, the symbolic handing over was here is a bag, yeah. but those schools today will get more bags than that. The numbers will differ depending on the numbers indicated, right? How many school, how many classrooms, how many students. Dwayne Moody for News 5.